Oh my goodness, what a crazy morning. <clears throat> I think I broke just about everything with my stream. <laughs> Trying to fix this and that. I found out after I started streaming that I actually broke the damn <laughs> chat pot. I did fix, I did manage to fix it though. So that's a good thing. Um, my desk is such a, everything is such a mess. It's, it's gonna get fixed. It's gonna get fixed. I, for the first week in months, I'm actually gonna have the time to straighten some of this crap up. Most of what I have here is kind of hobbled together <laughs> as I had time to do it. But uh, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better, I promise. We're gonna get things fixed. I was looking this morning. Uh, I've been I've been telling everybody that I'm seriously considering switching my streaming software because I'm ha having some problems with the current one. And I was looking at that this morning and I started just kind of messing with it and trying to fix it up and see, okay, how am I going to do this? And there's some things that don't seem to want to work in the other software that work well here. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to play with it more and find out what I can do with it, how that's going to work. Um, I thank you guys for being here today. Today is our Elite Dangerous stream day. We're out in the black exploring, looking for new life in somewhat traveled places what was that quote i heard one time i think it was on a youtube video it was uh going or uh going where only a few have gone before <laughs> something like that i don't remember what it was it was really funny though um uh, and that's kind of what we're doing we're, we're visiting a spot out in the galaxy that not a lot of people have been to or so it seems and uh see if we can find anything new we did find yesterday we did find some biologicals. Unfortunately, they have been found before in other places, but we were the first ones to discover them there. So that was kind of cool. Um, I On my exploration days, I do like to share my log, my flight log. It kind of shows you guys where I'm at, where I'm going. If there's something out there you want to see, feel free to follow along. I'll post that again here in chat. If you're curious and you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to click that. You have to refresh it. It doesn't auto refresh. Um, and see where I'm at and where I'm going. Yummy coffee. Mmm. Oh, I love my coffee. Um, hot and humid here today in Central Texas. Man, I wish that humidity would go away. We've had so much rain. It's been crazy. You would thought, I moved from the Midwest to get away from this crap. But here it is. And why do I have two of those open? I do not need two of those open. Uh, reload. I'm not going to press that because I don't know what's going to happen with it. And sometimes when I press buttons, things explode in a way that I don't care for. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, minimize that down. We do have a puppy with us today, but I think it, I think we're just going to get a butt cam because he, he was laying like perfect for like an hour and a half. And the minute I started streaming, he got up, he started being kind of a turd. He laid back down and he laid back down with his butt hanging out. So what is that? Is that a cord? That is a cord. There's a cord in the view. Move that. I, this morning, I always plug my phones in and I have two. I have a work phone and I have my regular phone and I always plug the two in and for one reason or another my iPhone would not charge so this it was dead last night and I thought I just had to charge it and uh, and this morning when I went to look at it come on you can do it you can load this morning when I went to look at it it was dead still so I was like, what the hell? And I messed with it and messed with it. And I was like, great. And I'm going to have to call and have somebody replace the battery in it or something wrong with it. You know, my, my first thought was, oh, it's some gimmick to just sell phones. Because, you know, if your phone don't work, you got to take it in. And they're going to tell you to try to sell you an upgrade. And it's kind of the way my mind goes. So what I did is I just did a hard reset on the phone. So it would reboot because it was like unresponsive. And it restarted and it started charging. Hmm amazing somebody would have charged me 50 bucks to do that had i taken it somewhere so hey for self-help i don't know if we can get him in the picture or not i don't know what all that looks like but 
I'm gonna go find out. Yeah, he's over there. He's he's chilling. So leave him be. So we're where we're the same place we left off yesterday. In that whatever system. I think I still have my plotter open. My desk is a mess. I've got stuff everywhere. That's not what I wanted. Get out of there. I wanted to make sure my neutron plotter was still open, and it is. And we are currently in D12. D12 attack one. I have a D11 tack one. Maybe we maybe we still got a rot a rot a route plotted here, and we just haven't finished getting to the end of it. Nope, we haven't. But that was our last one, so we're only it looks like one jump away from there. But we're gonna poke around and see if we can find some more cool stuff, hopefully, and some biologicals that haven't been discovered before would be absolutely awesome. Uh, what we found yesterday was just some uh, crystalline spires or something like that. They, you couldn't shoot them. You couldn't mine them. You could scan them. That was about it. So, I mean, it was, it was neat. It was neat to do. We, we've been saying how we'd love to discover some new biological. So, that was cool. But we had one more planet to map here. There was three planets in this particular system. And this was an unexplored system. Um, there was three planets here that were worth a little bit of monies to map them and I think this was the last one yeah we needed to go map one real quick and then we'll get on to that next system we're not too terribly far from where we we're I say not too terribly far as far as neutrons go we have probably one maybe two more neutrons that we can use to get where we're headed but we have about 30 something jumps so, and I think that's why this particular part of the system isn't really highly traveled. I don't think there's a lot of neutrons in that area. So, but we're also low on gas, uh, fuel, gas, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what class was this? This was a class F. We can't fuel here. So hopefully if we don't, if our next jump doesn't yield a fuel star, we're going to have to hunt one down because we're down probably almost a quarter tank now of fuel and we don't want to get stuck somewhere. Uh, because I'm not going to drag the fuel rats all the way out here. I'll just blow it up and we'll start over. <laughs> That's what would happen there. But let's get over to this 1-1. One, one. Again, we're in the same place we left last time. Or where we were last. When was that? When did we do this? I think we did this yesterday for a little bit during our variety stream as we were playing around. Um, I did delete last night's video. Because we streamed twice yesterday. We did the early day variety stream uh, for like four hours, I think. And then I went, ate, took care of some stuff. We came back and streamed for a few more hours. Played a few games, played some PS4 stuff, had fun with it. I ended up deleting it because one of the games that I played, which was uh, called... Uh, oh my gosh. What was, it? what was the name of it again? Arrow. Which was really cool and a lot of fun. But it's it's kind of a music game where you kind of fly a ship to music. And that music, a lot of that's copyright. <laughs> Copywritten. So we couldn't really do a lot with it and it was getting deleted stuff on the VOD so I just canned it. I don't like having muted stuff on my VODs um, so we just let it be. We don't want to go to that next system. I had already, I thought I targeted this. Okay, we're not too far away from it. At least we were headed in the right direction. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and just deleted the VOD because it, I don't want because I consider myself somewhat of an artist, I don't you know, I, I preach to people, make sure you license your stuff properly. Try not to use things that other people own if you don't have the rights to use it. Um, and I, I would be, that would be just crappy of me to turn around and go against that advice. So it was there. I, I knew that would probably happen, but it was part of their game. So we streamed it, but we didn't save it. So there's that. Uh, after the, we mapped this last planet... Uh, man, I, I, I've muted the same channel on Discord, I bet you, ten times. And the thing keeps making noises in my ears. I don't want to leave the channel because I really like those people, but... Oh my gosh. Flip the flop, hey, what's going on, buddy? Glad to see you. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Haven't seen you in a bit. What have you been up to? Hopefully a lot of no good. 
Or at least some. Maybe not all, just some. Hmm. Loves my coffees. We're out here. No, we're not. I don't know. We're about 10,000 light years out right now. We're not going too terribly far away from the bubble. At least at the moment. But we're going to a part of space that I don't think has traveled real a lot. So maybe we'll find some cool stuff. Maybe we won't. We did find some biologicals yesterday. Not new biologicals, just biologicals in a new location that no one else had really been to before. So that was kind of cool. Alright, now we want to go to that next trip. Nothing much, just preparing my cutter for a civil war. Awesome. Yeah, I still need to finish the rep grind to unlock that thing. I After doing the Corvette, and I have got up to the Clipper for Imperial, but after doing the Corvette, man, that whole the whole idea of that just makes me cringe. And I didn't get a complete on that, or I didn't hear one. That's concerning, because I know I launched four, five, six on that. We're going to check it, because I don't want to take off from here and just totally forget it, because I think it was worth about a half a mil estimated scan price. The cutter is so much easier to get than the vet, you think? And why is that? Is there just more... Like, I, I did a mix of data and... Uh, data and uh, passenger transports to get the vet. Courier missions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I did a lot of burning station kind of stuff. It mapped. We just never heard it. Is Eddie being silly? Possibly. It'll probably... I've ran into this before with voice attack and Eddie. It might take a bit. In like 10 minutes, we'll hear everything we have done up to that point, and then it'll start. <laughs> I guess it's some lag at the API. I don't I don't know what that is, but that's done. So let's get back on track. You could turn in 20 at a time. Holy cow. Yeah, I'll have to I probably won't remember that, but sometime when you're by and uh, we're in the bubble, you should remind me of that. I'll or I'll come hunt you down. What was that you said again? Because I'm just so not looking for. I just want to have it unlocked for the sake of having it unlocked. Because who knows what 2020 is going to bring. Maybe they'll start locking factions or something crazy. And I don't know. Who knows what will happen with that. But I don't want to. I want to get it done so I can say it's done. But that's really the only thing I have left of any degree in the game. To really do that I'm interested in doing anyway. Oh. But yeah, I, I need to do that. And we haven't been exploring for a while. It's kind of why I went out on this little trip. Because it's pretty chill. It, it's not, it doesn't require a lot of attention. So I can really talk to you guys and show me we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, six thousand. Yeah, this place has already been visited, which is fine, but there's no fuel stars here, so that's a problem. Because we're getting pretty damn low on fuel. Sorry to bring up a sore subject, but do you know what happened to Big Rick? Um, I talked about that for a minute yesterday, and I'm not, I'm not one to gossip. Um, but all I can, all I really know about it is what he posted in his discord before he took that down. And to my knowledge, there was just some background kind of drama stuff going on. I don't know what it, what it is or what it was. Um, but it was causing him grief apparently. And, and I mean, the man was streaming mostly for his own entertainment and for the entertainment interacting with others. So, you know, there was no... In my opinion, there's no good reason to continue to do something if it makes you uncomfortable to do it. So, as far as I know, he's not doing it anymore. We missed the guy. Liked having him around. Um, hopefully, maybe some point he'll come back. And, uh, and all that drama or whatever it was goes away, I hope. But that's all I know about it. Um, 
I know he used to stream other games though, but in his comment, he said that uh, he was leaving Twitch. So, and he's newly married. I mean, he's, the man's got a lot going on in his life right now. So maybe, you know, when that stuff kind of settles down and, and he decides he wants to get back into it, he does. He comes back and comes back and visits us. And, because I really enjoyed his company. We, we did a we did a Path of Exile stream with uh, with Big Rick with us two weeks ago, I think it was, or something like that. But I don't know. I wish the guy the best of luck, and I hope he comes back sometime soon. Um, I don't want realistic. I want map, and I want the start class, and I want my regular filters. So it looks like we can jump. Mm. There's an F class right there. Is there anything else? I don't. Let me see where we're going, and maybe we'll try to get one that's on the way, or maybe the next system will have one, because we're at our last destination. Yorm, Yorm. This is a thirty. This is thirty jumps. Yeah, the post was really long too, and, and again, I'm just briefly summarizing it, kind of what I got from it. So, but yeah, he'd be missed. We we enjoyed we enjoyed the guy. I hope this plotting doesn't fail. I had it fail yesterday when I was doing some plot. I don't know why. It was within the new range. This one apparently is going to take a sweet time about it, though. I got jet. Maybe I should turn off jet cone boost because that likes to use white dwarves as well. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what it comes up with. It should be 30 jumps. Well, 29 because. Neutron Plotter has a tendency to add one to the whole list, which was very confusing at first. 18, 19. Wow, this thing is taking its sweet time. Holy cow. I think we were jumping across the, the galaxy. Oh, wait, we are. Jackson move again. Kind of. Sort of. No, he's still there. What do we break the game now? Plotting failed. What's up with this thing? Maybe I just need to go to realistic and replot it and see what happens there. It's because it's probably trying to use my filters. Maybe that's why it failed. I mean, it's only 2,000 light years away. Only, he says. But that should be with plenty of range for us to jump out there. Or planet, anyway. And then we'll look and see along the way, because if, if the next jump or two isn't a fuel star, we're going to have to step out and find one. Yeah, he's he's kind of the other direction. It it's all we always have the headless puppies. It doesn't matter they lay that way or the other way. And for like the first hour he was in here, he was laying perfectly right in front of the couch. Everything was great. Everything kind of set up. The minute I started streaming, he got up, started being a turd, and laid down funny. So kind of the way it works, I guess. But I'm glad you guys joined us here today. Um, miss my elite still failed what the heck is going on i don't know why that would fail i tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to recalculate on the plotter from where i'm at maybe something changed i don't know let's go back here and we're at a neutron now So let's go from, how far are you from the bubble? Right now, I think I'm only about 10,000 light years. I'm not that far. It was a spot that I found that doesn't look like it had been very highly traveled uh, by too many people. And I think this is why, 
because I don't think there's a lot of neutrons in that area and I think it might just be a problem in general. We're gonna get there, whatever we have to do. But it's just kind of a tough spot to plot, apparently. Um, and even I can't get a lot of the systems to even come up in the plotter. So we're gonna find out if we can replot this from where we are now. A I H M I B 11 1. Okay, that's where we are. We're still going there. We still got the same travel range. Let's calculate that. That's where we are. This, I think, is the same destination that it just asked us about. Asked, asked us to go to. So let's just try it again. Uh, we're leaving it on realistic so that it doesn't. Let's just turn that off as well, I guess. Well, I need to leave that on because it's going to use a cone boost. It's the same place. Well, it's trying to plot again. It's being ridiculously slow, though. That's not typically how that works or how I've seen it work historically. I think it gets up around 20% and it fails. The, the bad part about it is it doesn't tell you why it fails. That would be nice. If it would just say, hey, couldn't plot a route, wrong jump range, couldn't find enough stuff, you know, something so you knew why it was breaking so you could try to get around that. If, if this doesn't work again, we're just gonna face that direction and start going. Maybe. 25%, it hit 25% and failed. And I don't know why. Hmm. Well, let's go back here. Because that is going to lock up on me, apparently. Thank you. That's where I'm headed, right there. That direction. Why it's taking me that way. I know the density out here kind of sucks. And maybe that's a good portion of it. Let's go back to realistic. Um, hello, hello, echo, I don't, I know there's a bunch of stars, oh, okay, here they are. Wait a minute, is that only behind me? Is this just a big dead spot? Holy crap, I think it is. Because I'm not seeing anything that way. There's plenty here behind us. Let me try scooting up a little more. Can we get here? Oh, that's too close. Hell, I can jump that far. But I might not be able to get back. <laughs> that could be a problem. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. What's... There's plenty of stars around here. I went to my filter again to see what around here... Hmm. I just wish there was a little bit of a better way to, to kind of lay this out. I mean, I don't even mind going the long way around. I don't really care. But the neutron plotter is getting me there. And I've put in my jump range. So I'm not sure why in the hell it won't plot that. I mean, is it just we're too high on the plane? I'm not seeing crap for stars here. Again, this is probably why this particular part of the system is not so well traveled. And I can show you guys where I'm at here. This is where I'm at. This whole area right here is not very highly traveled. And that's why we came over here. Let's see if we could kind of find something in this direction. I'm curious. I know it's not going to work, but... 
We're going to plot route to here just to see if it will. It's not going to do it doing filters. I can pretty much guarantee that. But let's just see what happens. I'm sure it's going to fail. Because it failed going over there the other place. And that was half as far. Because my next route should be... It should cover about 2,000 light years and be about 30 jumps. According to the plotter. Yeah, it's not even... It's just like derp. I mean, I mean, I'm going to plot something simple. Just to make sure the plotter's working. And it's not something I'm doing. Give me a star. Yeah. It, it's not even doing that. Hmm. That makes that a little fishy. We're 12,000 light years away from the bubble. I don't know if it'll plot that. Is it, is it 10,000 light years, the range now on the plotting? I'm just seeing if it'll get back. Like if the plotter's broke or this this whole place, it just went off the screen. Oh, no, there it goes. It seems to be working. It plotted all the way back home. So it's that area. It's this area. Well. Doggone it. We're going to figure something out here. How far is this away? I don't know. We're just going to pick some random stars. Try plotting it in there. See if we can get failed immediately. There's stars here. Is there just a big hole right here, apparently? There's a star way down there, unless that's just background. No, that's a star right there. Hmm. Well. That's not super helpful. Well, where else can we go? Look at all these stars. Here's a ton of them. Just plot somewhere else. Somewhere it'll get to successfully. At least then I know the plotter's going to take me on the right route. I don't know what's up with the other route. I'm just guessing. I mean, I told the plotter what my jump range was. Unless the plotter is screwing up and going further than your jump range, and that's why it's failing... Or maybe the game won't let me go there because I'm going to take this first neutron jump. And if I do that, I'm going to be in a cluster of stars and be stuck. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Not that I care. I mean, it's not like we found Thargoid base or something. Come on, you can do it. It's only 3,000 light years. And I guess we're just going to have to, when we find one, it'll successfully plot to. Then we'll neutron that again and make sure that everything lines up. It's still sorting it. I'm just going to see where it is in relation. This is quite a bit further out, but it's to the side. Failed. And look at all these stars. I mean, why in the hell would that fail? I don't get it. Pretty much on the plane here. I don't know. Let's just pick another spot. I'll just see what the neutron plotter says for destination here. Try doing it that way. Hell, I don't know. E R G H F R. Hack A. Not found. So that's not even in the neutron plotter. Plotting failed. Wow, these stars we can't get to. Um, and 
this density here is crazy. Surely we can get here. I'm using realistic so that it's not, it does, there's no filters in play. The ship will jump 70 light years without a neutron. I mean, that's a pretty good distance. Failed. I'm, I'm confused. Help me. H Y U E P T J Z B 33 not existent, but here's some other ones with the same prefix. Let's see where the hell they are. Copy. Whoa, that's in a way different place. I mean, I don't care. Whatever. If we can get there, I'm good with it. Why is that plotting over there? This game, I tell you. Uh, calculate. This is giving me a route. Well, that's where we are. Hell, I don't know. Let's just see if we can get somewhere. <laughs> or did we just hit a dead end? According to the plotter, we can go here in 20 jumps. Really? <laughs> What's going on? What is happening here? Plot route. And it vanishes. Maybe I need to restart the game. I don't know what the hell is happening here. Any thoughts, ideas? I mean... Let's just try opening the galaxy map again. <clears throat> We'll paste it in here. Where was that route going to that it was just... It was two jumps away? Oh, that's that route. Is that the route back home? I plotted? I don't know what the hell that route even is. This is where we're trying to go right now. The UI is flaking out. Apparently. I want to bookmark it. It says plotting route. Maybe it'll not vanish this time. Maybe. Maybe we should have named this stream Battling the UI instead of Exploration. But if this other route works, that's it's actually a little better jumping that way. It's still 51 jumps away, but it's not going to be at all helpful if this darn thing won't plot the routes. Will this give me an actual jump list for that? By chance. No. I'm, I'm getting frustrated here. I'm going to show route on the plotter and see what it's doing. So this is where I'm at and that's where I'm going. Where is CD12-0, okay, so that's the other end of it, apparently. I'm so confused. I don't know if this'll, this probably won't load up. It never plays nice. 
browser, where be you? Not full browser. Web and chat. Of course, it's not going to show up. Why would it? I mean, it's not like we're trying to stream it or anything. I'm going to open it again. Because it's a knucklehead like that. Okay, it's potting it again. So this is what I was just looking at. This is where we are. I was looking at this. I was trying to plot to this location. And that's the one that's telling us it's a no-go. It won't plot it. So I clicked show route. To see where it's trying to plot us to. So this is where we are, right? And we're trying to go this direction. Okay, that's where we are. That's the destination over there. And this is the route, I'm assuming. This is where it says we want to go. That route, that the distance there is what? The distance is 1,476 light years. According to the plotter, the router, that's one jump. And that would explain why we cannot go there. If that's in fact what it's doing. Because that's just too damn far. But this says 21 jumps. So what I'm, what, I guess what the show route means, this is where you are, this is where you're gonna end up. We're not showing you all the jumps in between because we don't know what they are. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't I don't understand why. And I don't really know the controls that well for this thing. For navigating this. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. This is where we wanted to go. My game's locking up. Every time I tab back to it, it locks up. I'll tell you what. Let's go. Is there a... Hmm. Let's just uncheck this for the moment. Yeah, I know the plotting failed. Thank you. No, I want you to try again. Thank you. 10%. No percent. Your eyes close. I think the game is flaking out. I really do. Yes. Let me out of here in your nightmare mess. Right, we're going to try it without a full game reload. And see what happens. If that doesn't work, maybe we'll have to restart the whole darn game and see what happens. You have no missions at this time. You have joined the Dark Ball Squadron. You are near Dry IMIB dash FD eleven dash one in the Dry IMIB dash FD eleven dash. Okay, we'll try this again. Galaxy map. Closing map. He voice attack restarted itself. When I relog, it unmutes itself. I tell you, it's AI taking over. Route unavailable. That was the next destination. We didn't apply filter to route. It's red before I even get started. Hey bud, hope you have an amazing day. Hey Salty Art, how you doing? Thanks for dropping by. Right now we're we're fighting the the elite dangerous UI monster. The new type of alien in the game. The the uh, elusive UI bugs. <laughs> I didn't know about that. Oh, you know, it's uh I, I'm trying to figure out we've been trying to figure out for the past 30 minutes what the heck is going on. And I'm, it's probably something legitimate, but because it doesn't really tell you why it's failing, you don't know. And so you're hunting around trying to figure out what the heck is going on. I'm sure it can be explained. 
I don't know, it's taking forever to plot routes. And it's sometimes failing and you don't know why it's failing. It doesn't say, it just says, see, plotting failed. Well, thank you for that awesome feedback. We can determine it failed by the fact that it didn't give us a route. Why did it fail? That's what I want to know. What is wrong with it? I want to try the FSD boost and we'll see if it'll replot. Now see, there, the whole thing disappeared. The UI is disappearing. Now it's back to zero. Now it's going to try again. Now the UI disappeared. Now it unselected the star. I don't know what it's doing. Like, stop. It keeps, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the jump range is too far out. Well, that could be, and I could accept that. But then I'm getting this other weird stuff that's happening, like right now, where the, the UI is just randomly deselecting itself, and I don't know. I can, we tried a minute ago, I plotted a route back to the bubble, just to see if it would work, and it worked fine. So if it's a range thing, which the neutron plotter disagrees, the neutron plotter doesn't think it's a range thing, but apparently the game does, or something. But when the, the UI keeps vanishing, that tells me something else is going on. There's some other weird thing happening here. I retract my previous tape. We're gonna, and I know this, actually, let's just do this. We're gonna go to chatting for a minute. And I'm just gonna reload this whole damn game. Let's find out if it's just something bad with the load. At least for the UI and stuff closing, because that, to me, makes no sense why it would be doing that. I've never had that happen before. Play. Yes, Horizons. Yeah, we were just, uh, there's a spot in the galaxy that isn't super visited, and this is probably why, <laughs> that we wanted to go check out, so... We're just, I mean, and we don't have to go to that exact spot. I'll go anywhere around it. The problem is we got to a point where we just can't seem to go any further in that direction, period. And I'm puzzled as to why. I mean, if we have to, we'll just plot star by star. I just got to know I'm going in the same direction or the right direction. I don't care. I'm not picky. I'm not too picky. If the game ever load up. Yeah, really dangerous. Yes, thank you. And are we in yet? Nope. That's what she said. Continue. Okay. Welcome back, Commander. We'll try this again. And I know the screen, yeah, you know, screen black for a second. Welcome to OBS. Okay. So I'm not going to plot any routes at the moment. Now see, here's another thing. Maybe I'm already screwed. Maybe that's the problem. Because you notice I have no filters here, right? Do you see any destination systems <laughs> in this list? <laughs> I see nothing but the planets we're in. So, if I was to speculate from looking at this, we are over 70 light years from the nearest star. The next nearest star. That's what I'm guessing. Let's, let's take a look here. Now I'm at a neutron, so I can get up to 300. So I'm not too worried about getting out of here at the moment. Oh look, it's going to try it again. It's moving faster this time. It still failed at 46%. Okay, well, let's go back to where we are. That's not where we are. Right here. Okay. This is where we are right now. Let's see what's around us. We have this star, which is 24 light years away. We're not even applying any filters to our route right now. Just because it was acting so weird, I didn't know what was going on. So that's within 24 light years. Am 
my tool on fuel? <laughs> that could be too. Ship. I can currently jump 75 light years. So explain to me why there's no systems in this list. There's no, when I filter by systems. Oh, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. I don't know what's going on here. I am so confused right now. I mean, we do only have a quarter tank of fuel, but that's all right. That's enough to jump. Let's go ahead and charge. I want to charge up and see what happens. If it opens up some options, I don't know. I I'm so confused right now as to what is happening. Actually, I'm going to have to get back into Super Cruise to do that. We'll engage already. So we're going to charge up. We're going to see if any other system stuff shows up. If not, we're just going to manually... Well, I don't know how we're going to manually jump somewhere if it won't let us target another system. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's happening to my life right now. And now I think I was going way too fast when I hit that because at first it was going too slow. And this was our star here, wasn't it? Our neutron. I do the charge of shame here. Thank you, Salty. I appreciate that. I'm sure it'll be amazing. It's a great community. Good game, too. When it works. What is going on with this? I'm at zero throttle. I mean, come on. I think it's Elite gets the best of me day. I think that's what's up. Jackson's out. Take three. Thank you. I'm okay with that. You know, that's something to check. I should make sure all my modules are on and all that. Maybe something got shut off. Why are we not getting a charge? Okay, well, that should be on, first of all. Everything is on. Everything is fine, 97%. We've went through this neutron four times now to fill the, the charge up, but it's not seeming to want to do that. Is this the right star? No. That's frustrating. I don't know what is happening. Something's going on and it's probably something silly. I'm, I'm positive it's something that I'm doing. I just don't know what at the moment. All right, we're just gonna go further into it here. Holy cow, that was rough. Getting our charge. Okay, got our charge now. There is still no systems in my list. Nothing. 
What is going on? I am so confused by what is happening right now. I don't want to go there. I don't care to go there. Stop doing that. Just stop. Now where are you going? Back here. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's... No, we can't plot her out there. I just wanted to stop jumping all over the place. Let's plot her out right here. This is a whole 24 light years away. That worked. Okay. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to... Actually, we're going to go back to our star filter. We're going to go ahead and apply that to the route. And I'm going to see where the nearest fuel star is. Hmm. Quite a ways for any of them, really. But we can jump up to 300 and something right now. So we should have a pretty good... Pretty good shot to get away. I just have to find one. I just seen him. I thought. There's, right, is that not one? It's a G. That one's feelable. Actually, where's this one we're going? That's an F. That's feelable. Is it not? But given that we're at a neutron, I'm a little worried. Well, I mean, I guess since it's close enough and I can jump 70, I always jump there and jump back because I was worried that I'm in a pocket at the moment with the stupid jump range. And my game's going to lock up on me. I don't know what is happening to my life right now. Well, let's just do this for the sake of doing it. I know it, it's not using the full FSD, but it's close enough. I'm not worried about something silly happening, and it doesn't take a lot of fuel to get there. We're going to jump next door and fuel up and see if maybe there's something wrong with this system. Hell, I don't know. Very weird. Fuel level's been below 50 for a while. Where you been, buddy? Okay, we're gonna fuel up. We'll have a look at the system just to see what it's about, see what's here. If it's not been scanned, we'll scan it real quick. But actually, first I wanna look and see if there's any systems in my filter or in my list because that was really odd. That it would uh, not show anything in my list. Man, I'm glad I got a good big fuel scoop on this. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. Okay, we are full of fuel. How many planets to say we're here? Nine, was it? Nineteen. Okay, nobody's been here. So, let's look. Actually, let's get a little further away from this star. Okay. There's still no systems in my map. Why are there no systems in my map? Is there something somewhere that I'm missing? <laughs> Anybody? Does anybody know if there's something somewhere? I mean, I, I'll turn off, apply filter to route, just in case that's messing with it. I'm on realistic map. I do have uh, fastest route. I don't have jet comb boost, but I don't care. It can be on, whatever. Okay, so I don't know, I don't understand what else could be going on. Exit out of that. Come back here. There's no systems. 
in my navigation. I don't know why. Right now, our ship has a 70 light year jump range. And we just left a star that's only 24 light years away. So why isn't that system on my list? Maybe it's a guardian conspiracy. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know, let's, let's see what's here real quick. Maybe we'll manually jump for a while. Hell, I don't know. Gas giants. Some icy bodies, some high metal contents. I have a little bit here. We'll poke at it real quick and see. Nothing else there. That's already done. Oh, shut up. Mute her. Here's our gas giant. And we'll get these other bodies here. Nothing on that one. Nothing. A couple of them in here. Nothing. Isn't there another one here? Oh, I guess not. Helps if I go the right way. Nada. that I need to that's a cool looking planet I need to change up my controls for all this and do this with a mouse instead of a darn joystick red eye what's going on buddy thanks for coming by welcome to the most frustrating stream on twitch right now probably for me <laughs> we seem to be I won't say stuck somewhere but the man the UI is behaving strangely Wow, that's a million credit scan right there. Estimate. I'm gonna write this down. But yeah, the UI is flaking out or something, or, or I've done something terribly wrong. I don't know, but my uh, I can't I can't plot a route anywhere. Like, then systems don't even show up in my list. Like, you know, when you're just looking at your navigation list on places you could go or whatever that's near you or even the planets you can target, systems do not show up in my list at all. None. And I can't plot a route anywhere. Well, I say anywhere. We did end up being able to plot a route 24 light years away, which is, of course, a single jump. But I don't know. And the UI is acting strange. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to go verify the file. It's really dangerous. Maybe there's I've got some corrupt file or something. I, I don't know. It's just a very bizarre happening of events. Nothing here. But we hopped over here to fuel up, which is right next to the neutron star, our neutron system. We're going to jump back over there so we at least got the neutron to work with if we need the extra distance. And uh, try to figure out what the hell is going on. Because we use the neutron plotter, of course, to get out here. And uh, I was just following the route along, and then all of a sudden it wouldn't plot any further. So I'm not sure. We may have to try to manually jump it. I don't... I don't know. We're probably going to run out of fuel doing it that way. Or we're going to... Well, if we don't use neutrons, we won't get stuck. But oh, we got something on this one. Probably just geologicals, high metal content. But I don't know. It's been really frustrating trying to trying to sort out what the heck is going on. Yep, geological, 23. Ooh, cold coffee. I am not a cold coffee fan. Some people like my daughter. She likes those iced coffees. 
Are they system locked? No, no, I'm I'm like 15,000 light years away from the bubble and in the opposite direction of Colonia, so... D11 tech 0... Six. If you if you want to see where I'm at exactly, I guess it works on phone too. Um, this is my flight log. Every time I jump, all you have to do is refresh the page, and it'll show you where I'm at. You can go there and check out where I'm at, and what I'm doing, what I've seen or haven't. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. What's happening here? You should map this, body. this is A. Well, which one were we just at? Oh, six and six A. I guess that's a that's a planet orbit. Okay, I got it. I got it now. I understands. Five, six, and six A. But yeah, we're uh, like here in my. Here's my locations. Here's all the planets and bodies in the system. There's no systems here. I can't get to any systems. If I filter it for systems, no locations mac match the selected filters. Here's the galaxy map. Here's where we are. Here's where we just came from. It's 24 light years away. My current ship right now will jump 70 light years. So what's happening? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. We're going to go back over here because I know there's a neutron there. Now, even though I have it targeted, now it shows up right there. See it? No. Mm -mm. I even took, I even turned it off, even flipping to realistic or turning it off. Um, right here, we're on realistic. If I go ahead and just switch back to map, Come down here, there's no filters applied to route. I mean, hell, for all that matters. I'll just check them all. Oh, well, give me the bottom here. The only thing showing up is the one we just targeted. It's 24 light years away. Now, if I untarget that, it's gonna, it stays there. It's still there. Let's target somewhere else. Nearby. How far is this away? 58 light years. Let's target it. Let's exit. Okay, now the last system I targeted is no longer showing here. And this one is, that I just targeted. It's showing up here. Well, even if it's dead space, it, there there's lots of systems within my jump range. They should show up here. Whatever's in my jump range, at least historically, is that not how it's always worked? Anything within your jump range, within a certain amount of them, I think there was probably some soft cap like 10 whatever systems near systems but i've never known it to not show systems that's just strange yeah it's really weird i've never seen i haven't either so that's what i was trying to figure out and i'm wondering if that's why the route plotting is also failing i don't know I mean, I, I would submit a bug report, but I wouldn't know how the hell to submit it. Like, I wouldn't know how to really explain this. I don't know. I, maybe I can note the system I'm in. And... I don't know. That's just so damn weird. Well, I want to go map these planets real quick, because that's why we're here anyway, right? Just do the 
exploration. And maybe we'll just have to manually jump for a while. I mean, we were kind of risky, but that's half the fun, right? Taking the risk. It's just so weird that it, I, now I did plot a, plot a route back to the bubble and bubble and that worked fine. But like anywhere around here, nothing seems to work. And I'm not sure why that is the case. I, I've explored before, but I've never ran into this problem. I wonder. I wouldn't think, or I would think more people would have ran into it. I was wondering if maybe it was some kind of a, a caching table update sort of thing with the game, where because no one has really been in this area before, maybe ever, it's never populated whatever populates that nav list. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. But that or there's something else strange going on. Not sure. Very odd. We're going to scan this. 5, 6, and 6A. And give us a little bit of scan credit. And then we're... I'm probably going to jump back to that, I don't know, do we even need to jump back to that Neutron? Probably not. We're going to try to figure out how to get further from where we're at now, I guess. It's kind of the goal right now. I don't care if it's Neutrons or not, I'm not in a hurry anymore to get any further out as much as I am just to navigate around the area. Yeah, we did, I restarted the game as far as back to main menu, and I restarted the game an entirely new launch. So, I don't know. I mean, the, the only other thing I know I could possibly do is to tell Steam to do a file check on it. Make sure there's not some corrupt file. But I don't know, I mean, does it, you wouldn't think it would plot routes locally, yeah. But, it could be wrong, maybe it does. Seven probes. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, I don't either. Yeah, I, I, I'm baffled as to why it would do that. I just want to do some exploring, man. I want to find some space aliens. Map is complete. Efficiency bonus awarded. Planet 5 is a medium gravity terraformable high metal content world. This planet has low numbers of active silicate vapor geysers. The crushing atmosphere is composed mainly of carbon dioxide with an average surface temperature of 807 Kelvin. Body 6 and 6A are also good mapping candidates. 6 and 6A, which we're doing next. Did you ever get your mic thing sorted out, Red Eye? I, I was thinking about that yesterday or last night you mentioned it usually when I think about it and I'm not streaming I look over and you're not online so holy cow that's a shot away But yeah, it's, I don't know, I, I, I guess again, this is why this particular area is not very highly traveled. There, there might be something wrong with the area, I don't know. Or maybe the plot is thicker than that. I'm not sure. But we're going to go over here, we're going to map this one, we're going to map 6A, and then we're going to figure out what in the world to do from there. Because I'm, I'm, I'm set on getting to that area, I just got to figure out how to do it. And without some kind of functional plotter, that makes that very difficult. 
I ended up just running it through slobs, which seemed to solve the feedback issue. Did a stream last night. I'll have to rewatch, but it said sounds good. Okay, well, cool. God, you got to fix then. Nice. Yeah, I was looking earlier about switching over to different streaming software because my current one's lacking a lot of things. Well, I say lacking a lot of things. It doesn't really lack a lot of things. It just seems to break a lot and do a lot of weird crap. So I was looking at the other software and it was missing a few things that I really wanted. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. But after, today, after today's stream, I'm going to have like, kind of like the rest of the week to... Work on all that stuff, get my cameras fixed, finally, for the first time in months. And uh, try to fix a lot of that stuff. I'm going to redo some of the overlays. Other cool stuff coming. I've got new uh, emotes and stuff that are, still haven't been approved yet. I don't know why. They're behind or something. And uh, then in the next probably couple of weeks... Um, I'm going to change my schedule up a little bit. Sundays won't change, for sure. The other stuff, I'm not quite sure yet. Those We might change those up some. Not sure. But I am curious, for those of you that are here. Um, If you would, if you wouldn't mind taking the time to do so, I'll post my Discord link in here. What I, what I would like you to do, if you would, is just hop over there. If, if you don't have me elsewhere, I mean, you can just, the, the goal here is just to send me a message on Discord. It can be private or whatever. And tell me a couple of things. Uh, what you like about this channel, and maybe what you don't care for about the channel, and what you might like to see. Those three things. And when I say see, I, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's visually related, if it's game related, I, I don't care, whatever. I'd, I'd like to know those three things to help me kind of keep developing it in a way that makes sense for all of us that we all like to do. So um, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be all, it would be a huge help to me. It keeps me from doing a lot of guessing and, you know, giving you, letting you guys kind of build this with me and I'd appreciate any input you have or maybe you like it just the way it is. I don't know. I'd really like to have your feedback for it. My biggest issue is that I run a cooling pad, desk fan, and a room to keep my... Yeah, you were telling me about that. Uh, with streaming as background noise, I'll probably see if I can find another audio mixer program play with it. Yeah, there's... Uh, I'm not sure about the, the tools and, and slobs, whether or not you can add a noise filter to that thing or not. I'm not sure. I would think so. But yeah, just hop over and just shoot me a message. I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings or anything like that. So if there's something you don't like about the stream, please let me know. If there's stuff you love about it, let me know. Um, I'd like to see something different, let me know. I just really like the feedback. It, again, it, it keeps me from guessing so much, and then I can do more things that you guys like to see. I've been told you can. I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Maybe it's advanced audio properties. There's audio monitoring that you don't need. Um, filters. Audio video filters. Compressor expander, gain, invert, limiter, noise gate, and noise suppression. Yeah, it's all there. So if you right click and i assume slobs looks a lot like regular obs studio if you right click on the audio source and do filters you can add things there so that will probably get you what you're looking for and we need a right next door Yeah, maybe we'll find some cool new stations or something hidden, tucked away in this mess over here. I don't know. In my opinion, it looks more like a bug of some kind than anything, but... Not sure. Oh, crap. Helps not to fly at it a bazillion miles an hour.
phone call. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you hanging out. You do your thing. We're gonna scan this and then we're gonna grab some coffee because this has gotten cold. And then figure out how in the hell we're gonna get closer where we're trying to go. Six probes. Hmm, I should have this side. Okay, well with that map, I'm gonna go reheat my coffee. I'm just gonna leave it on this screen. No reason not to. So give me just a second. I'll be right back with some coffee and we'll figure out how in the hell we're gonna get out of here. Mapping is complete. Efficiency vote is granted. Moon 6A is a medium gravity terraform of a rocky body. The thin atmosphere is rich in carbon dioxide with an average surface temperature of 247 Kelvin. All bodies of interest have been mapped. Got up to get coffee and at that moment decided I need to use the little boy's room, so I did that. And got me some high coffee. Mm. Loving my coffee. Okay, well we've scanned everything here that we wanted to scan. So now the question is, how the hell are we gonna get where we wanna go with this thing not telling us where we can go? We still got that system there because that was the last one we targeted. But we have this is where we're trying to go right here. It's not terribly far away. That's where we were headed. It's two thousand light years away. That's not that damn far. But we cannot plot a route there because it will fail. And we'll try it again just for the sake of trying. It failed immediately. Okay, fine. Maybe it's too far away from stuff, whatever. Um, let's pick somewhere else here. We're still on realistic. No, we're on map. It's not on route though. We're just gonna go realistic. Just so we see all the stars. Um, here's one. How far away is it? That's 500 light years away. So that's slightly out of our neutron jump range, which is okay. Plot route. Fail. Um, okay. See what else we have in here. How far away is this one? That's 369. Still slightly out of our neutron jump range, but let's see. What happens? Oh, we got a route. 
Definitely a weird route, but that's okay. It does have us going back and using that Neutron. So, my problem with this route is that if once I make this jump, I might be stuck. Might not be able to get back out. So, let's go back to our map. We're going to turn everything off here except non-sequence stars. And we're going to see if there's any new other neutrons right over there. And I don't think there is. Back. Welcome back. I'm not seeing anything in this immediate area. Let's let's try this. Let's try. Um. Let's turn off jet cone boosts and see if it can get us in there without it. Because if it can get it, it get us in there without it, then we can get out without it. Let's see what happens there. Maybe if I can select the. Oh, I guess I got to turn my map back on so I can actually target it. Recalculate. It's not recalculating. Let's try it again. So if it can get us there without the neutron, then we can get back without it. It cannot. So if we make that jump, I guess we've hit kind of a, a dead end pocket as far as getting any further forward. Because if we jump in there, we're not gonna be able to get back out of there. At least not this way. Maybe we can go way out around here, I don't know. Well, is there anywhere else we can go? Let me turn all my stuff back on here. Mm, filter the route. Proto stars. I don't know. We'll leave it on there. Why not? Carbon stars. Wolf rides. That'd be cool to see. I don't think I've seen any in this game. All right, we're going to leave that filter on for a minute. And see what the heck is around here, if anything, that we can get to. to explore. I'm not seeing anything. Holy cow. Okay. What is actually around here? Anything? <laughs> well, I just seen a cluster of stars. Where's that? At? There we are. Where's this at? This is 8,000 light years from us. In some direction. I don't know. It just finally let me target something. This is not using jumps, it's not going to let us. And we're at, we have a 70 light year jump range. I mean, is everything out here so damn far apart that we just can't get out here? Fail. This whole damn spot. Somewhere else out here we can go. I see no stars here whatsoever. Nothing. I'm in here. There's like a ton of stars right here, it looks like. Yeah, there is. I think, isn't the new range 10,000 light years? So isn't that a bit far for auto plotting? Now, let's see if the, let's see what the neutron plotter says for something like that. D R Y A E A 
A E W S Y Y P No Y P's found. I believe it's only ten thousand light years. Yeah, I think so too. So that's a little bit out of range. But this system isn't even in the neutron plotter, so there is some YAs, just not that one. So let's see where this one is. A little bit out. Failed, of course. Where's that at? And it's out there. Well, according to this, we can get there. I don't know. We may not be able to get back from any of this, honestly. Let's see. Let's see if it'll let us plot a route to this next destination. This should be five jumps away. I, and that's backwards. I'm so confused. Ah, now with using Jet Comb Boost, it plotted it. So it's a distance issue. So we've, there's some kind of, I think we just came into this whole damn place at a bad spot, it seems. Um, there should be another neutron right there though, in that system. So, we're gonna do it. We might get stuck. I don't care. That's half the fun, right? Get out of here. Whoa, I have to run into a planet. I just noticed the puppy cam, tiny screen. Yeah, it's, and he's way off the thing. Way off the thing. But they lay in so many strange places. I don't know. That, that's all going to get fixed. Hopefully this next week. Hopefully this next week. I didn't want to unlock the destination. Unlock the destination. Oh, on your tablet? Well, yeah, but I mean, it's tiny on my screen, and which makes it even tinier on your screen, so... Well, we're going to try to jump around this little screwy pocket we're in and see what we find. Mmm. Coffee. Let me scan those. So we don't need that paper anymore. My trash can is way the heck over on the side. Okay, well this is back to where we were. So that we're just picking up that boost so we can jump out of here. Zero out of seven bodies has been scanned here. Can I have some coffee too, please? Sure, absolutely. Come on by. Pour you a cup. I got a few. A few extra. A few extra cups. Happy to share. Come on. You can charge. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Appreciate it. More than welcome. Happy to share the coffee love. Dragging at work today. Yeah, that happens sometimes. That sucks. Makes your day really long too. I still haven't heard back from that other place that I may be starting to do some work for. I don't know. We'll see. 
Velocity. This is your first visit to the system. All right. Well, now we're either really screwed or really not. So. Because we can't get back to where we were without a neutron. <laughs> At least that way. Can we fuel here? I don't see what kind of. Yep. Yay. Twelve bodies. Eleven bodies remain to be scanned. And that would be why that particular area of space is not very well explored because you can't get to the damn thing. That's why. Somebody's been here already. To this particular one. They probably had the same problem we did. Yep. So we're going to move right along. Actually, what kind of... Icy's, Rockies, yeah, there's nothing really of significance here. We're just gonna move on. See what the next one's about. Let's <clears throat> say John Boy. <laughs> What's the name of this system? That's what it sounded like you said, John Boy. Complete it's John Goy. I wasn't too far away. Gathering information. Cartography has now been Oops. Here's the D scan. Fourteen bodies. Two out of fourteen bodies have been scanned. No one's been here. So this is a new one. At least we have two different systems showing up this time. Which is very weird. Very weird. What do we have here? Got some gas giants. Icy bodies. Asteroid clusters. So nothing special, it seems. There's the asteroid clusters. There's our gas giant and a lot of those ICs. Well, let's see what's on it. Standard gas giant. Fifty geological. Holy cow. Nothing. Nada. Couple in here. Mm, something on this one. More geologicals. I'm guessing. I'm still kind of pissed though that we couldn't get into that area I was wanting to get to. Maybe I can try to come around from the back. I don't know. Geological. Oops, still more here. Nada. Still got another gas trying to run here somewhere as well. Right here. And this is probably the other four planets. One, two, 
three and four. Okay. Onward. I don't know how many jumps that was. Five. Then we're going to hit a neutron, and then we'll have to go nine jumps. Then we're going to hit a neutron and eight jumps. So we're going to have a lot of systems to explore along the way. Actually, when I get to this next neutron, I'm going to look back at where we were headed before and try and see if there's a route from that side. Because that kind of bums me. Holy crap. No, no, no. I clicked off my screen. A type star discovered. I'd clicked off my screen, and when I do that, I lose all control of my ship. So we got back in. I forgot that I clicked off of it, and I was heading straight for it. Okay. What was that that we just got here? Reported by Commander Picard. That's awesome. Wave off, wave off. <laughs> Uh, so I just confirmed this A-type in this system, which I don't totally understand how those damn things confirmed and reported and I mean, I get the concept of it, but some of it seems so bass awkward it doesn't make any sense. How many bodies do we have here? Six. Six bodies has been sent here. First one's here. Gas giants and ICs, right? Metal rich. And here's something. To the gas ship. Giant gas giant with water-based life. Now, I would love to have science where we can go here and figure out what this water-based life is. I think that would be cool. Confirmed. So it was reported on it was reported on twelve twelve and we just confirmed it. It's last year. Not this particular star, just that class of star. All of our planets somewhere. Here we go. One. And I smack that camera. Two. Two more. And they're both right here. Nothing on that one. And nothing on that one. Next. We have five jumps, so we should have a couple more before we land on that next neutron. I was watching another streamer this morning who found a system found by Star Trek. Nice. Picky AI. Jump in progress. Always in transit to the John Boise I dash XC twenty eight dash zero system. This is your first <laughs> found by Star Trek. That's funny. I wonder what happened to all those people. I never see their names anywhere else. Completing system scan. Stand by. Fuels complete. I figured we'd be able to fuel up here. Fourteen bodies. One out of fourteen bodies has been scanned. Fuel is up. We are the first ones here. I'm gonna kind of head in the right direction here and get away from this star so we can actually see the map. Alright, we have 
Mm, Rockies, Ices, some high metals. Nothing fancy. Nothing. Nada. It's kind of cool looking at the galaxy from the edge like that. Nothing. Nada. Couple here. I see nothing. I see with nothing. I see with nothing. Nice. And another two here. Not a nothing. Nothing. Come on, give me something. Something to write home about. Nothing. No excitement here whatsoever. But I was I was talking. I don't remember who I was talking to the other day. Where was that? Somebody's chat. I was talking in on a stream. I thought about trying to do maybe an educational type stream. When I say educational, I mean just talking about the science of what we do as we go. Maybe visit some actual locations that exist in real life. I don't know. It sounded neat at the time, but I don't know if I could find enough resources to really make it worthwhile. Six bodies. I'm just going to go ahead and charge up to get it done and get away from it. We're the first ones to be here as well. So we're the first ones to visit this neutron system. That's kind of cool. Away from it now. They're all high metal content worlds. That would be cool. I went to Voyager 1 and New Horizons in Seoul. Nice. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't. I, I kind of poked around a little bit on the interwebs to try to find some decent vetted resource I could use to talk about what we, you know, be able to talk about what we see as we go. I haven't really found anything that made sense outside of writing my own paper for it and then doing it that way. And that's something I. Can't invest in at the moment, time-wise, but maybe in the future. I can do that. You know, I really enjoy the science behind a lot of it. Even though I'm a complete idiot for most of it. But. Okay. <clears throat> so we only have the system in here that we came from. For whatever silly reason. Let's see where the next one takes us direction-wise. See if it takes us more towards where we were going or somewhere else entirely different. Looks like it's going to take us backwards. It is. Well, it's not really backwards. It's more along the side. We're like skirting the edge of this sector. Which is very curious. Hmm. Just 
trying to understand why all this might be as cut off as it is. There's nothing over that way. Hmm. I don't know. We'll do the next few jumps. See what happens. See if it still keeps us skirting around the outside of this sector. Maybe we'll try a replot to go back into that sector. See if we can find a way in or not. And a way out, hopefully. Destination confirmed. PT-BZ-27-0 system. This is your first visit to the system. Hmm. This will be able to fuel, I think. This main sequence star is remarkable relative to similar class X stars, with an unusually high solar radius at 0.71 times souls and lower than average density. As you can see, it emits an orange red light. As you can see, hear what he said, as you can see. How does he know I can see? Maybe I can't see. Maximum fuel. Someone, well, that's been, uh, what, how long? I don't know how far the default scanners go out. 3,000 isn't that far. Somebody might have been here already. There is a good possibility someone's already been here. Yep. Valhalla, apparently, is where we are. Welcome to Valhalla. And again, I think a lot of this might be, we're finding portions of this has been traveled because of that pocket. I like a better way to visualize the range of things. Like if you could go to your galaxy map, select a star and like show me radius of blah, 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 and have it do a sphere and show everything in that radius, which I, wasn't there something like that in there of the sorts? I thought I remembered seeing something of that nature. It was a binary system. Yep, at least a binary, maybe. Mm -hmm. bodies remain to be in the system. Thirteen bodies. Is now fully refueled. Someone has also been here. So we're around, <laughs> right? Maybe he can get me where I'm trying to go. Damn, look, Val has been here too. So it's like we're taking the same route now. Same direction. See something cool. Scanning for anomalies. None detected. No, nope, I guess nothing cool. Scanning for information. Now he's rolling around off the screen entirely. He's right behind my chair. Six bodies remain to be scanned. Maximum fuel. Nobody's been here. Yeah, it's still not showing the systems right. It's showing where I came from and where I'm going. That's all it's showing here. It's very strange. Rocky ice and icy bodies. So a very cold and desolate place. Apparently.
One more. Looks like it's going to be a very unimpressive place. Yep. Nothing. Are we at our... No, we're not at the destination yet. We had nine jumps, I think. To get to the next one. I guess the only way you can get into that area, or it seems at the moment, is to have a stripped down... I don't know, you have a stripped down jump anaconda, but then it's useless for science if you do that. You can't do anything with it but jump. Really? Which doesn't sound that exciting to me. Two bodies. I think somebody's been here already. Maximum fuel. Maybe not. Now we have four systems. That's curious. That's very curious. Why, why do we all of a sudden have four systems on our nav? We're still on the edge of that sector. Hmm. Wow, that's way over there. Class 4 gas giant. I don't think I've ever found a gas giant that far over. Confirmation. That's a hell of a last name. This is last year again. Hmm. Um, what was there, two, didn't it say? So wasn't that it? I think that was it. No, nope, it wasn't it either. It's an asteroid cluster here. That's it. Well... I mean, at least we're getting some exploring in, even though it's not where I wanted to go. I particularly wanted to go to that area because it hadn't been highly traveled. As you can tell, as we've been going here, a lot of people have been through all these. So, kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion, of doing all this. Well, doing it the way I wanted to do it, anyway. Completing system scan. Stand by. This card is notable. Ten bodies. Nine bodies remain to be scanned here. Refuel. The first ones to come to the system. Well, let's see what we have. Nothing significant. Ices and high metals. Typical. Nothing there. Nada. Still nothing. Come on, give us something interesting to look at here. Here. 
nothing and nothing. Onward. He is out. Integrity is within limits. All other systems are at normal levels. Fuel reserves are at 96%. Scanning. How many more jumps we had? Seven bodies remain to be scanned. Maximum fuel. Nobody's been here. Oh, this is our last jump on the route, it looks like. No, we have one more jump. Possibly. Anymore. And hell, I don't know. I just seen that it said unknown, and for some reason thought that. Gas, what's this? Icy and a rocky and then asteroids. So another probably not so impressive system. Here's our asteroid clusters. Gas giant. And then all of our icy, rocky guys around them. point in that general direction we've been streaming now a little over two hours i'm gonna get up and stretch my legs and all that if you've been here with me so far i really appreciate you hanging out and being here if you've been sitting down this whole time please get up move around a bit get the blood flowing um we're gonna take about five minutes or so and then we'll be back and we're gonna probably jump another jump or two and we're gonna see if we can sneak around the back side and get to where we were headed or not but uh hang around we'll be right back
And we are back. Apparently we didn't spend the next 26 days going to this next system. Switch drinks, got me a cold beverage. Stretched my legs a bit, that felt pretty good. My game's gonna be silly for a minute, there we go. And Jackson did move again. Adjustment. He is laying down down now. Eagle is heading to the driveway from the GQ-28-0 system. This is your first visit to the system. He moves around a lot. Engaging exit protocols. I don't know exactly how I want to mount that camera. Gathering information. Or if I'm gonna, I don't know, we got, we finally got our other room freed up. I may be moving everything over there. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Let me talk to the wife about that later and see what she would like to do. So how many... I didn't pay any mind to how many bodies were in this system. Two. And they're both right here. The question is, are we the first ones to find them? Yes, we are. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, looks like we still got a ways to go on our route. Oh, two more jumps? Three more jumps? Two more jumps to where we were headed. And we were headed to... What was the name of that? Okay, it's right there, so I can still get that back. I want to try and plot in this direction somewhere. Is there anything over here? So unrealistic. It's like there's just some big invisible wall right here. Just a huge gap in space. So we could probably get into there because it's the same general area, but 
That's not nearly far enough. Yeah, there's one right there. Hmm. I'll we'll make a few more jumps and see if it starts to look any better. Hopefully. Because I'd still like to get into that area. Pull some chicken out of the freezer too to thaw for dinner tonight. Not sure what I'm going to make with it yet, but Parmesan chicken sounds good. This is your first visit to the system. I don't know, I need to diversify my menus a bit. Usually when we have chicken, we do something Eastern with it. Still here just watching the eclipse online. Oh really, is that today? Or is there an eclipse today? I didn't know about that, but I don't watch much of the news anymore. It's all like bad news anymore, so. Of course, I did not look at how many bodies were here. Ten. We got the first ones here. Let's see what we got. Ices and Rockies. High metals and Rockies this time. No Ices. Yep, Pacific and South America. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know there was one today. That's a cool looking plant. Manganese. Excuse me. Did you ever just get that, that random hiccup? Just one out of nowhere. I know what that's about. Well, not only is this part of space really sparse, but it also seems to be very uneventful. There's just a little of nothing out here. I say that, we'll probably land on something crazy. Nope. Really? Why do I not? There we go. Lost control of my ship for a minute. It's still doing that. Doesn't seem like it's as bad as it used to be, but it still does it. I'm not sure why. Why it would do that, but it does. Course adjustment. The what system? Dry you, I think is what it said. Two bodies. One body remains to be scanned. Both stars, undoubtedly. Fuel is now at one hundred percent fuel capacity. Hmm, maybe not. Not sure what it is. Let's find out. It's a gas giant. at well right here apparently class one gas giant next I think this was our last d14 yeah attack three yep this was the last jump in that and then we have an eight jump route if we continue to follow that route. I would still really like to go back to the area that I can't get to. It makes me want to go there that much more because I can't get there for whatever reason. Destination confirmed. Is heading to the dry way of UK CD 14 3 system. Caution, neutron star detected. This mm. is your first visit to the system. You are on the way to Earth and a half thousand light years from home. 
I mean, I don't mind manually heading that way, but I don't know how useful that's going to be. So I'm afraid we'll get stuck and then not be able to get out. And... One, two, three. Looks like somebody's been here. Yep. Wait, didn't that say four here? Because there's only three on that list. T-type star discovered codex update. That's odd. And this high metal world apparently hasn't been dug out of the mess, even though somebody, they must have just flown through. Non-terraformable discovered. Well, twenty K light years is the range on the the route plotter. And you do one K if you do economical. There's a jump range right there. It's just starting if you want to watch. I'm watching on space.com. I mean, not particularly. I don't have permission to stream it, so I'm going to do it that way. And We're kind of doing our thing here. I might watch it afterwards, though. Watch a recording of it. But thank you. There's a lot of stars on this side. There's less on this side, but... Let's see if we can kind of hit that way or not. This is like right next to us. So we can get there. All good, I'm multitasking myself. Yeah, I'm not the greatest multitasker. This is that big dead space. See, once we get about right in here, it just... Everything like vanishes. See if we can get it there or not. Nope. Hmm. That's frustrating. Let's see where this goes. Why would that fail? That shouldn't fail. Now we're back to that whole mess again. Hmm. Really? Plotting failed. That's right on Neutron Plotter. Something else around here. What about here? It's only 2.30. I don't want to hear crap. It's nowhere near time to eat. Well, we can go there. But that's not going to have another neutron there. What? What are you belly aching about? You can't... Mom's not here, so you can't go out there by yourself. No, you can't. I know. It's, it's a sad thing, isn't it? It's terrible. Well, I guess we'll head over there and we'll have to replot. See what it takes us. What? I don't know what you want. That's a lot of jumps, though. What's your problem? Hmm? What's your problem? Knucklehead. Hmm? There. You got your attention. That's all you can get. Because if you go outside, you gotta go in your kennel because mom's not here to watch you. I 
Yeah, he's being a he's being a turkey at the moment. He wants he wants to play, he wants attention. He wants to be a big baby. Don't you? Yes, I need my arm back though. Mm-hmm. I need my arm back. <laughs> you are such a turd. He's gonna get mad at me again because I stopped paying attention to him. Bet. <laughs> See? <laughs> you can't. No, you can't go out. You have to go to your kennel if you go out. Because mom's not here. And I think I'm going too fast for that. Am I gonna get it? Nope. Of course not. <laughs> Enough. Yeah, we got it. Well, we're just gonna keep skirting around here, I guess, until we get wherever it is we're trying to go. No, no, sir, you can, you cannot go out. Uh uh. Nope. Not a happening. Nope. Not a happening. You can't go out. Not by yourself. You get in too much trouble. You get into too much trouble. And we can't let you get into trouble. I know. It's a bummer. This should be alright. You make it. <laughs> Quit slobbering on my hand. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. I'd rather not put you in your kennel. I like you hang out in here. Do you hang out in here with me? Hmm? No? <laughs> Is that a grumpy no? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, don't stand behind me and bark, oh, shithead. Alright. Okay, fine. If you want to go to your kennel, that's what we'll do. Gosh, that's loud. One body, just the star. All right, well, I guess I want to take a second and go put him in his kennel. Apparently, that's what he wants. So, give me just a minute. Well, apparently we're switching puppies. Because now Gracie's in here. We put Kennel in his... Kennel. Jackson in his kennel because he was being a turd. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Yes, we did. Alright, back up. I don't want to run over your paws. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, we need to go to the next system. We'll lay down. It's only 2.30. It's not time to go out or anything. No, it's not. Oh, little turkeys. I have little kids running around half the time. Aren't you? Let's see if she lays down. Or not. Still in the same vicinity. John Goy, or John Boy. One bodies. 
sure there's no other. No, there's no other signals or anything. I don't have any filters on. Off to the next. At least a lot of them been feelable stars. Which is helpful. Keeps the keeps the ball rolling at least. Where he says John Boy. Scarby is notable relative to similar class M stars with higher than average surface temperature. Eleven bodies. It emits an orange red light. Nine bodies remain to be scanned here. We are the first ones to see go through this system. Let's see what we got. Rocky, high metal content, and some asteroid clusters. So nothing too special. all in here. I didn't want to zoom in on that. Yep, everything's piled in here, it seems. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Probably these asteroid clusters. Yep. Not a This system has everything required to augment an explorer's range. I wonder how far. It, I would hate doing that though, because you'd end up getting screwed. Stuck. If, uh, if you went in and did an FSD injection. And get a neutron. Mm. Mm. Twenty five percent bonus. Now is that twenty five percent to base though, or twenty five percent to your overall? I don't know. Maybe we'll do it just to see what happens. We could get about 90 year, 90 light years out of a base jump with the boost. I don't know. I'm trying to think if we could use that to get to where we were headed a while ago, but I don't think that's enough to get us there. B types discovered. How many bodies were here? We don't know because I apparently switched my group.
five. One body remains to be scanned here. They're all stars, all right here. Looks like there's one off somewhere. Did somebody, somebody's probably been through here already. Nope. Oh, there's four of those damn things. Well, let's find this fourth gas giant. It's way over there on this edge again. In there? No, nope, those are those three. Well, where's it at? Class 5 gas giant. I think those are biggins. I think. Destination confirmed. John Boy. Main sequence star A is notable relative to similar class F stars. Ten bodies. Old age of around six billion years. As you can see, it emits a white light. Seven bodies remain to be scanned. First one's here. Several gas giants. Some Rockies and a Metal Rich. Water-based life. Is that it in there? Is there... Oh, I guess so. Oh, here's one. Class one. Another class one. Class three. On we go. Headless puppy again. Nice hitting all these fuel stars, at least. Seven bodies. First one's here. See what we got. 
Oh, water world. Rocky ice, ice, and high metal. Oh, let's see. Let's find out where what is. This is our rocky. Nothing on it. That one. Not at all. Nothing. That was a big one, though. I don't know. Content. Nothing. Here's our water world. Two hundred fifty-eight thousand credits. Body two is a good mapping candidate. Okay, zero two. That was all right. Yeah, that was it. How far is it away? Ah, uh, not too far. Scan it, get a few credits. Well, sitting here looking right at it, my mind is somewhere else, so. Which seems to happen a lot. Fairly large, it seems. Six probes. Okay, maybe not so big. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is awarded. Planet 2 is a medium gravity terraformable water world. The very thin atmosphere is terraformable water outside with an average surface temperature of 331 Kelvin. All worthwhile bodies have been mapped. Very nice. Vectors. Destination confirmed. Boy is heading to the John Boy BP ID 9 1 system. John, I still swear this is John Boy. That's so funny. And this was the last system in that route. We're the first ones here. Yep. I still don't understand why systems are not showing up on my list. I totally don't get that. I see rocky high metal. There's a lot of them right here too. High metal with nothing. Not a non 
one terraformable discovered. And there's two more here somewhere. Both in here. Empty and probably also empty. Yep. All right. Well, where are we going to go to now? Like there's n just nothingness right in there. There's that one, but where's that gonna take us? Nowhere specific. do from where we are right now. If it even has system we're in G O N G O I B P Tech Nine One. Yep. Smack I can't wait to get that thing moved as well. So in my way as always Waiting and waiting. Two nine one, that's where we were. I'm not saying to go three jumps this way. Get it. Jump into next system. I mean, how many of you guys answer phone calls from numbers? Just numbers. I don't. Any. Even if it's local, because that can be spoofed. If I don't have your name in my phone, I don't answer your phone call. It'll be a message, and I'll call you back. If it's a legitimate phone call. You have met all worthwhile bodies. I think pretty much everybody does that anymore. Seven bodies? Isn't this where I just came from? Yeah, because I've already mapped all this. So we backed out one, apparently. I had to go backwards one to go around. Which is alright. Science. Jump in progress. Closing transit to the John Boy FB GD 10 0 system. This is your first visit to the system. Work call with me. Raging? 
That's kind of cool. I've never had two stars in the same screen at the same time that close together. Holy cow. Yeah, because I'm smashed between two stars. Holy cow. That was kind of scary. How many were here? Eight. Three out of eight bodies have been scanned. Yeah, those are very close together. Gas, rocky, and high metal. Metal rich. This must be a gas giant. Class four. Apparently everything is right in here. Not a more this way that I missed. Two in here. Or at least two, should I say. Rocky. High metal. Last one. Well, nothing here of significance. On we go. Telemetry obtained. I was traveling to the John Boy DK ID 9 0 system. This is your. Oh, it didn't work when they called me from that city, so now they're going to try to call me from another city. I don't like telemarketers. I don't think anybody does. I don't even think a telemarketers like telemarketers. Main sequence star A is notable with an unusually high solar mass of 1.8 times souls and high brilliance. As you can see, bodies, both stars. Fuel at maximum. No other signals. Well, it's been a while since we really found anything cool. Everything has been pretty much the same old bleh for a lot of jumps. Whoa, that was kind of a weird loading screen at first. All we had was stars. Must have been a little lag or something going on. Stars with an unusually high solar mass of 0 0.96 times souls. As you can see, it emits a yellow orange light. Eagle is now at maximum fuel capacity. Two bodies, both stars. And we are the first ones here, but still, there's no, no, no signals. Onward we go. Adjusting for jump. Destination confirmed. Police in transit to the John Boy CK ID 9 0 system. This is your first visit to the system. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the. Going in between systems suddenly looks a little bit different than it has in the past. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just never paid close enough attention. 
Nine bodies. Six bodies remain to be scanned in the system. Refuel. Exactly the first ones here. Oh, I didn't want to jump yet. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get that thing moved. It's so in my way. Um, Rockies, Icies. And high metals. Same crap. Same old stuff. We're so close to that star. I hope no, none of it's in there. Right here. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. Goodness. I haven't seen geologicals in a while. Nothing. Body C1 and C2 are recommended mapping candidates. No, they're not. They aren't worth enough to be mapping candidates. I think I got that limit set at 250,000, I think. If it doesn't estimate scan worth 250,000, it won't say anything. And it didn't when we were checking out the stars. At the end, that's a new thing with Eddie. Where it does a recap on the system. This is your first visit to the system. Gathering information. Cartography has now been updated. Field scooping. Nine bodies. Eight bodies remain to be scanned here. Field scooping complete. Refuel. Get away from the star a bit. Water world. Rock icy. It's a rocky icy in a water world. Nothing. Nothing again. Water world not worth anything, unfortunately. I don't know, we'll see how far it is away. Maybe we'll map it anyway if it's not very far. That's what we're here for, right? The science. Pff, 
4th of July is this weekend. I don't know what we're doing yet. For the 4th. Probably nothing. <laughs> Getting too damn old. It's too much. Barbecue maybe. I haven't had a good barbecue in a while. started rolling on my desk. I think it might be haunted. That was bizarre. Not, but six probes. Kelvin to Fahrenheit, Kelvin Celsius. This is your first visit to the system. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in five, four, three, two, one. Fuel levels at ninety-two percent, Commander. Completing system scan. Stand by. Fuel scanning. Two bodies. Both stars. So, thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius, or two hundred and seventy-three point one five degrees Kelvin are all the same temperature. Apparently, this uh, that last one was two hundred ninety-three, I think. That was 70 degrees on that planet, Fahrenheit. Five hundred and sixty-one degrees? No, two hundred and ninety-four Celsius. It's five hundred what the hell is that doing? Want that to be Kelvin. Twenty one degrees Celsius ish. So pretty nice temperature. Cool adjustment. 
Destination confirmed. Control is heading for the John Boy SE MD7 0 system. We are still in that John Goy or whatever region, system, area, sector, however that's split up. We've been in it for a while. Four bodies. Maximum fuel. All stars. And someone else had already been here as well. So on we go. been very uneventful which is kind of bummer I was hoping we find a little bit of at least cool looking stuff out this way and so far it's been rather drab and boring unfortunately just the star no signals no Until we cool down a bit so we can jump out of here. Class G star. Oh my goodness. Where that came from? Must be nap time for the old guy. This is your first visit to the system. Completing system scan. Stand by. Gathering information. Cartography has now been updated. Just the star. Two. I don't know, somewhere. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. Scanning now. Let's say last main non sequence star and route before supply is exhausted. 11 bodies. First person here. Let's hope for something exciting. Maybe. Rocky, ice, icy, and high metals. <laughs> Nothing, unless we get some sights, there's nothing going to be exciting about this one. Nada. Hey, I think mom's home. Because Gracie's tail is a wagon.
Rocky with nothing. Oh my gosh, jumping all over the screen. Try IGXLD7 1 3 scan value is 384,356 credits. You should map this body. D713. Not worth a lot though, it's probably how far it is away whether or not I'll fly over there and do it. That's a ways. If it's a ways anyway, it's not really worth it. In my opinion. Nothing. Wow, that's bright. Why is that so darn bright? Nothing. Oh Grace, that's enough. I'll let you out in a minute. Just hang on. Keep your pants on. Streaming a little over three hours right now. Wife just got home. I'm dying to get to work on some of this stuff this week. Finally, gonna get some time to work on all this. Um, we're not really finding a lot out here, unfortunately, at the moment. But uh, I think we're gonna get off here for now. I'm gonna get uh, get some dinner going here shortly. May pick this back up yet this evening. Not sure. May just spend the time getting some other stuff straight. But uh, as I was mentioning earlier, if you have a minute now or later please hop onto discord if, if you don't even have me on one of your channels you can use this um and feel free to leave afterwards you're not gonna hurt my feelings and let me know you know what you like about the stream what you don't like what you might like to see you know, any feedback is very helpful um in general because i'm gonna be making quite a few big changes here in the next couple weeks and uh, i'd love to have you guys help me kind of steer that so you know just let me know let me know what you like what you don't like etc and it'll help me determine what i should change what i shouldn't change if i should add more stuff or not add more stuff or you know just in general whatever um, love to have the feedback i really thank you guys for hanging out lurks are loving no problem with that at all um thanks for being here uh next scheduled stream will be sunday next sunday will be the puppy stream we might do a couple between then don't know um, make sure to catch us next sunday at three o'clock p.m central standard time where we will be edi editing our puppy pictures and then that Monday at noon will be our uh, variety day and then we have next Tuesday again our elite day um, but thanks so much for hanging out I really appreciate it you guys have been awesome uh, let me see who else is there anybody on that I can raid because um, we haven't actually been raiding which is a bad thing Um, well, Mr. Replicator's on. We can go over and say hi to him. He's, uh, I'm not real sure what he's doing at the moment, but we're going to go find out. So again, thanks so much for hanging out and thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And, uh, please come and check us out next time on Sunday, or if you happen to have some free time in between. Catch us then. We're going to go over and say hi to Mr. Replicator. So uh, join in. Say hello. And let's see what he's up to. Seven seconds. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.